Oh wait, maybe I should take these off. Ooh, there we go. Crazy how such a tiny elastic can really hold your mouth shut. <laughs> Welcome to this week's vlog. This is Zanzibar part one, where we're basically going to be covering the journey from Nairobi to Zanzibar and all costs that are going to be incurred in between. Today is a Wednesday and today is the day that we are going to be getting the COVID test done. Traveling during a global pandemic has all these extra tiny costs in between that if you don't consider beforehand, it can really mess up your budget. So with the COVID test, what I would um, recommend you do is check with your airline. We're going to be traveling KQ, so we're going to be flying KQ. So I checked on um, their WhatsApp. They have a WhatsApp chat bot. So I just went on there and I saw that their requirement is a COVID test that's valid for 96 hours. So today is Wednesday, our flight is on Friday, so it will be about 48 hours because it's on Friday morning. We are going with Ponea Health um, to do our COVID test, <laughs> not sponsored. So yeah, we went with Ponea Health because they come home to do the test and also a friend of a friend has experience with them. So we thought they were the best people to go with. When you're doing your COVID test, make sure that the certificate you're going to get you can use to travel just double check with whatever um, company you go with because i hear that they scan the covid certificate so yeah you need to make sure that it's scannable once you get to the airline so yeah we're going with Ponea health the cost was 6550 per person our appointment is for 2 p.m it is currently almost 250 about 10 minutes left so i'll let you know whether they keep time the other thing is that um, the test results come out in six hours so we also had the option of doing the test tomorrow morning but just to be safe <laughs> we're doing it today afternoon so i'll also let you guys know once they come in once the test is done we can time and then we'll let you guys know so yeah let's get swabbed <laughs> guys as you can see it is the next day at about 10 38 pm yesterday we got a text telling us that our test results were out so as you can see there it is right there Ponea dispatch test results and this is how the certificate looks like so i think this is the barcode or rather the qr code that they are going to be scanning Currently everything is a mess around me because I am packing up and I will see you guys in the morning. You guys can hear me i'm talking in such a low tone because i am a shy vlogger i'm trying to film this section before there's another announcement <laughs> um because those are usually really loud we are at the airport it is currently 7 20 a.m of course check-in was so hectic let me tell you guys if you have an international flight just get here early because utawatwa utawatwa um outside like the airport before you even enter you have they have to check your um covid certificate of course they scan the qr code that is there you don't need to print it you can just have it on your phone but of course in case your phone dies just have it printed um and then another thing that happened that um was that you have to go to the 
to a website called Afia Safiri to fill in a form for Tanzania. So you need this QR code because at the end, let me show you guys how it looks like. You fill a form and then it gives you a document that has a second QR code. This is how the document looks like. Now, nowhere were we told that you needed this form, but like right when we we're checking our bags, they tell you to download it. I mean, to go and fill so that you download it and you can't enter the gate without having this. So, yeah, if you're traveling, just make sure that you go to afiamsafiri.moh.go.tz if you google it to just come up and then another thing is it gave us an option to pay then and skip lines later so it's a total of 25 dollars that we're required to pay for a covid test <laughs> another covid test you guys so we've not yet paid for it we clicked pay later just in case there's actually not going to be a covid test when we land there so yeah, I'll keep you guys updated to see how um, it goes with this form. Zanzibar the weather is so nice you can't even see it but the skies are really nice and blue which is way better than the Nairobi weather we have just left um, I'm really trying <laughs> to vlog and at the same time being the moment have fun we go to the beach so I'm a bit it's, it's good vibes I think I've shown you guys the room tour we are staying at Sunday's Baobab Beach Resort. 
resort we booked through agoda in case you are new here if you want to stay um, at an accommodation book through agoda i will link agoda in the description bar the reason why i campaign for agoda so much <laughs> is because they allow you to um, make your reservation and not pay for example we made our reservation in may but the money was removed from my account in like 14th on like 14th june so as you can see if you know you're going to have the money in the future you don't necessarily have the money now then it really helps you it's really really a hack i will link them not sponsored i'm just the plug the plug okay so we're going to be leaving on monday so the plan for right now is to go ahead and do the covid test um today so that when we're leaving on monday it's going to be valid we're going with um dr ismail i found him from a random youtube vlog that i watched so just to be able to pass it on to another person going to zanzibar i will leave his number in the description box um what he charges is he comes and picks you from your hotel takes you to the test center where you're going to be fast tracked and then bring you back to the hotel and after i think 24 48 hours he delivers the results to your hotel so i watched some vlogs where a couple of people did the test and then they had to come back for the results themselves so this is a good way to do it because sometimes they tell you the email is not working so you're going to have to physically go for your results so yeah i will leave his number the charges range from one hundred and thirty dollars but yeah all i'm going to say is negotiate <laughs> negotiate with him but the distance is quite far because we are one hour away from the test center so that is like a two hour journey yeah which is going to be catering for but if you don't want to have to pay all that money then just do your research online you can take yourself to the test centers get the test done and the price will come to way lower we're just basically paying for convenience so yeah let's see how that goes oh by the way at the airport we didn't have to do a second covid test so once you're filling that online form don't pay that 25 dollars that's there because you won't need to do another covid test when you land so just um do the pay later option because when we got here no one was asked to pay reporting from the covid center don't leave your mask at home <laughs> Zanzibar kuna COVID, but kwa COVID center kuna COVID. Fine, my boy. Mm. Abari yako dada. Kusuari. <laughs> Kusuari. Ah. Na yako bwana kangeve. Jambu ni shikamu. Wadau wenzangu. Ah, eh, 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 patia kisani tisha kusani tisha. But yo. Hey. Hey. We are so far from the hotel, though. Hey. Really, it's a whole journey, a whole journey, not to get things stuck up our noses again. And we are back to the hotel. The COVID test was done. They did not. They, <laughs> they didn't allow me to film. That's why I did not film. But it was. So, so fast you guys um, literally it took one or 30 minutes to get there and two seconds to get the test <laughs> remember that everything will be linked down below in the description bar let me um, log off right now so that i can enjoy the rest of my evening and i will see you guys tomorrow bye guys hey guys welcome to this week's vlog we are at baraka aquarium here to swim with the turtles. <laughs> here to swim with the turtles. It's so full though. So we come to Jenny Mapema. Costs are twenty thousand Tanzanian shillings per person and valid for throughout. God, look at them.
hoping to see dolphins on a yacht in Dubai. In Zanzibar. In Zanzibar. In a song. In a song. <laughs> from snorkeling my gopro died though which is so sad because this trip everything that we have done is inside the water we even about to jet ski but the gopro has refused to go pro i will try charge it one last time because it's the charging that is an issue but yeah unfortunately we really don't have much to work with for this vlog but look at what i got back to this is so cute thank you Love it. <laughs> <laughs>